It's time for ID certification review. This is a little late as I achieved this certification around October of 2020. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Cisco Certified DevNet Associate. There is no acronym though, it's not CCDNA. This is one of the best new entry level certifications in the industry. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm your career and certification captain or 3C. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, three VN tutorials in cybersecurity, three VN tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, what is DevNet? Stands for Development Network. This is for those engineers who develops and automate networks that enables data to move swiftly between data centers and cloud. This is also a program by Cisco. And the goal is to enable effective network and system automation and integration, or to just enable DevOps as a whole, but focusing on networks. I was waiting for this moment for a very, very long time. And why? Because take note, my first job was a programmer. Then I became a Linux and web administrator. Then I shifted to a network engineer. I was waiting when development, web, Linux, and networking will all be integrated into a smaller domain. The concept of DevNet is for those who are game. Bring it on. All of these technologies, all of this knowledge brings together into a multiple consolidated solutions. Anyway, one strange thing about Cisco DevNet is you will realize this when you start preparing for the exam. Well, it's too broad. You will see Python, Network Basics, API, Software Models, Linux, containers, SDN, DevOps, and tools such as GitHub, Ansible, etc. And what makes it even broader are the Cisco technologies. The exam covers Cisco Enterprise, Cisco Wireless, Cisco Data Centers, Collaboration, etc. And this Cisco technologies uses different types of APIs. It's really good in a way because this is the only certification that covers all of these topics. The preparation was fun. It's not for all IT professionals though, because not too many network professionals wants to learn programming containers, software models, etc. Also, not too many programmers wants to learn network technologies as well. Requirements. Despite being an associate level exam, there is one. Actually, it's not a requirement, it's more of a recommendation. And that is a little knowledge of Python. You don't need to be an expert though. And even if you attend the training course, there are Python related examples. And in the training, you don't talk about Python basics, except if I am your instructor. All right, preparation time. Here is a good part. I don't know anyone who took this Cisco DevNet Associate exam as their first Cisco certification. Most likely, you are already CCNA. And if you are, I would say one to two month preparation is sufficient enough. It's still an entry level exam. For those who are not CCNA or new to networking, I would say three to six months preparation. I don't know anyone who wants to learn Cisco technologies, Python, APIs, DevOps, all at the same time in their early stage of their career. I don't think it's a good idea to take the exam not having a CCNA or zero knowledge in Cisco technologies. Okay, resources. Aside from Cisco instructor materials, I use this book. It's Cisco Certified DevNet Associate official cert guide from Cisco Press. 
and you will find tons of related topics at developer.cisco.com. The exam code is DevASC200-901. And the cost of this exam is 300 US dollars. But I remember when I took the exam, it was only 255 USD. I think there was a pandemic discount back then. All right, the length of the exam is 120 minutes or two hours. And the passing score is between 800 to 850 out of 1,000. The exam consists of roughly 100 questions. Don't believe other sites and resources saying it's only 60 to 80 questions. Those are wrong. All right, what would benefit you if you obtain this certification? Well, I kind of like the idea of an entry-level certification that prepares you to these new technologies, cloud, automation, DevOps, Python, APIs. It's a good learning, and this gives you an advantage when you are applying for a new job role because more and more companies are now starting to look for automation and programmability solutions. Now, let's make a verdict. It's time to rate this certification. All right, first, exam content. I will give it five. It's unique, covers DevOps with software-defined networking and network automation, and many more. Relevance to current technology. I will also give it five. It's all about cloud and data center. Now, here's a trivia. All of these giant tech companies, okay, Google, Facebook, Amazon, etc., even before DevOps, SDN, and network automation became mainstream, they are already using these technologies. Next, value for money, definitely five. Next, market demand. I would give it 4.5. For now this may change the only reason i'm giving it 4.5 not 5 is because not too many companies are looking for the certification here's another fun fact even more and more engineers knows how to enable programmability and automation companies or the management team of these companies are still hesitant to do it because it's still new and uh, they don't want to take risk. But without being said, it's still one of the best associate and beginner level certifications. It's just so sad that many people preparing and studying DevNet and Python network automation, uh, but they're not able to use it in a production environment. That's kind of a stupid idea, don't you think? But we're going to change it. We're going to talk about how to reverse the stupidity in another video.